What's up, YouTube? This is Zesty for Show. This will be uh, my second headphone review um, on the Skull Candy Lowriders. Yeah. Alright. Um. First major note. When I first bought them, I put them on. I was like, dude, yeah, hella sick, yo. So I plug it in. And then I'm like, what the fuck? It sounds like shit. What? 40 bucks on this piece of shit? So I was just like, hell no. So, like, um. It sounded like shit for over a couple of weeks, but after that, I put it on one day because I was just like, "This is the shittiest pair of headphones. I'm gonna put them on and break them while dancing or something." So I decided to just put them on. I was like, "Yeah, I'm going out to dance now," and no, they sounded a lot better. So I think I broke them in. Like, um, there's a period of time where it takes to breaking your headphones. Like, um. So here are like your headphone speakers when they're brand new, they're just like stiff. But when you play music, they vibrate. That's basically what's making the sound. So like um, the more music you play, the more it vibrates and the more it vibrates, the looser it gets. So it becomes like shoes breaking a new pair of shoes. So when you break them in, they sound better because they have a wider frequency range to vibrate at. So um, they're, they're actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, Alright, so let's get into this. So first, uh, design, 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 let's just say, uh, four and a half out of ten, alright, I mean, it's a decent design, it's travel friendly, you can fold the things to the side, put it in, these, and close it, almost like a little fish, oh, that's my phone, alright, anyway, a little fish kind of thing, and you wrap the cables around. But here's the thing that's kind of stupid. Um, okay, the left is over here, and the right is over here. And they swivel forward for some reason. They should swivel backwards, because people's ears are usually like like that, instead of like that. So when I put it on, it, it's kind of uncomfortable, so I usually just flip it the other way. So this part can like turn to my ears. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm saying, but it... Y you understand if you have it in prison. Well, anyways, alright, so that's pretty much it. It, it, it can become pretty damn compact. Alright, I'll show you. So here's my hand size. And here, it's, pretty, it's pretty small. Um, yeah. Alright, next. Sound quality. Um, sound quality. Let's do this. Um, 10 being beats by Dre Studios. These are going for... These are shooting for... 6. No, five. Five, five and a half. Five and a half. Alright, I'm being generous here. They don't sound that great, but they sound a lot better than when I first got them. So I was just like, what the hell is this bullshit? But, um, they're actually not that bad. They're better than Apple stock earbuds for sure. Yeah. But at first, they, they didn't sound as good. So I was just like, what? What? So anyways, yeah. Um, sound quality. Bass. Lacking. Mids, I eat. and uh, highs, I eat. Yeah. Yeah. this is okay, not too bad. All right, um, um, comfort level. Well, the cushions aren't that soft. They're pretty hard. It's like a stale do, stale donut. Yeah, stale donut. The rings. The top is pretty. It's the same squishiness, which is not that squishy. And you put it on. It's it's okay. I mean, it's not an issue. But sometimes it gives me headaches because it kind of squeezes my head. You don't notice it until a while, but kind of like squeezes a bit. So I'm just like, yeah, you know. Um, so it's not not that much of an issue unless you're gonna be wearing it for like five hours in a row, which I don't. So whatever. Um, oh yeah, the headphones swivel up here. Um, well, let's just let's see. What else was there? Durability, yeah. People been complaining. It snaps right down in the middle, right here where it folds, cause that's it's just held together by one hinge, one bolt. Um, basically, well, I'm not gonna lie, these headphones look kind of flimsy. They look like they're gonna collapse at any moment, but they've held up for, like, this is, I had this for like, half a year already probably. Yeah, so they, they work pretty. They're pretty durable. They stretch over your head. They're not gonna snap. Unless you, like, stretch all the way. Make it snap, yeah. Um, it's adjustable. And stuff like that. Yeah, um. 
but when you take this out of the package, it does feel kind of cheap, so I was kind of disappointed with that. But whatever, it's just Skull Candy. It's not that good a brand. It's people who say it's a good brand. You guys haven't tried good headphones yet, but uh, they're decent sounding. Not not gonna say that they're bad. They're decent sounding. Skull Candy is a decent brand, but it's it's a good brand with um, sports in mind, but it's not a good headphone brand. It's just a good looks and stuff. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm Zesty for show. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Questions just post below. These retail at about 40 bucks pretty much. Uh, get them at your local music store, Zoomies, SkullCandy.com, whatever. Um, yeah, so these are not very good DJ headphones. They, they state on the website, I think, that these are DJ headphones. They're definitely not because they sound like... First of all, they sound like shit for DJ headphones. DJs only use good headphones, and second of all is, uh, I mean, DJ headphones would preferably be around the neck. It's DJ style, I guess, so that's pretty much it. Um, uh, this is the Steve Show. Peace. Subscribe, please. Subscribe. Rock it up with this. Bah.